this is the Lander F9F pan for 70 millimeter. I've got a 2200 kV CS10 in it, running on six cells. It's very heavy. Uh, it's 1.95 kilograms all up, to ready to fly. Needs a lot of speed. Um, there's no way you can hand launch it on a road. It's got landing gear on a road runway. You know, it looks like a real plane taking off. Needs a long run. Gets up to speed. Takes off very nicely. Um, in a park with grass, there's no way it would take off on the grass. You have to use a bungee. So we're out with the bungee dolly. There's a dolly in the distance there. Um, I'll get stretched back to here. Center of gravity is 75 millimeters. Some people are saying it should be a bit more forwards, but it seems to fly right like that. It had a big crash a while ago, so it's just been repaired. I've got no idea what it'll do. It should fly. The main problem is will the bungee accelerate it fast enough? So I'm putting 16 kilograms of pull on it for a two kilogram plane, that's eight to one. I find, um, you need that because of the dolly and the drag on the grass and that distance to the dolly is where it'll run out of energy um, it'll only have real energy of any decent amount up to half that distance so maybe five meters of um, high speed so it has to be at flying speed by then so we'll get it all ready and find out if it does fly So the Lander Panther 70mm is on the bungee dolly, it's all ready to fly, it's under about 18 kilograms of tension, um, the plane weighs 1.95 kilograms, generally need at least five times but running a dolly across grass you need more so, um, and it can't hurt to have too much more, you can't launch too fast. Uh, hasn't flown since it's been repaired, but it should be airworthy, so it should fly, but once you catapult them off a high-speed launch, you don't get a choice. It has to fly or you're in trouble. Zero, well, we'll get ready. Should be right. We'll see if I can keep it in view of the video. So we got the foot release, we're ready to go. And there it goes. Very tail heavy, I can tell. So that's one problem already. It's flying, but it's, it's tail heavy. Got a lot of down trim. Still climbing a lot. Blustery up there. Still climbing a lot. Falls a lot out of turns, but it um, climbs a lot in a straight line. Jesus, that's like a lot of climb, but it's, it's falling so much out of turns.
Oh, this stupid Tyrannus 10 second rubbish I forgot to remove. Maximum down trim. But I need 50% up elevator to do a level turn. <laughs> now I gotta decide if I wanna belly land it or land it on the landing gear. Um, Flying around at 21 amps, that's not too bad. I only used 1500 milliamps so far, it's gone about four minutes. It's just getting to come low, it's very twitchy and roll. Um, it's definitely tail heavy. But pitch wise, I mean it's not sensitive pitch wise. Ooh. As soon as you bank, it drops quite a lot. It's getting buffered around near the trees. Oh, it's about time to land. 1800. Put the flaps down. Well, up to low level. We're down at about 10% power at the moment. Sounded a rough. Sounded rough on the ground. I don't really like the idea, but the landing gear wouldn't survive. So. Um, that was the first stage flaps, full flaps, I probably should have used full flaps, and that was the Lander Panther.